the jewel the jewel now as you can see in this podcast we have a shining jewel diamond in the dust now when you add the word l which is e l to the word jew what do you wind up with jewel and so we talk about jews and the name of god in the bible is l that makes you jewel this is why in the bible paul talks about a jew is not one on the outside the one on the outside is simply practicing judaism becoming so no one on the outside is a jew but everyone can be a jew on the inside because that which is inside of you is really a jewel that needs to be discovered and so in the book of revelation you are told i know your affliction and poverty yet you are rich and i know of those who call themselves jews but are not but are of a synagogue of satan which means some people are basically pretending they are not real jews and i'm not talking about physicality now because these sayings in the bible are clearly telling you that a real jew should be one on the inside most religious people practice this type of thing where the bible is talking about i know of those who say or call themselves jews but are not because they cannot get away from their physicality yet they think they are either christians or muslims or buddhists whichever religion have you this is simply because these people are not developing the internal jewel because if you're just thinking you are and you are not practicing it then your body which is a temple of god becomes a synagogue a temple of evil the ego e g o ego mind has taken possession of this particular person therefore this particular person is living in illusion they are basically deceiving themselves and this is why in the bible you have jesus according to the story talking about the prostitutes are ahead of certain people because at least the prostitute he or she knows what they are doing but to pretend that you are a jew and are not you will not enter the kingdom of heaven which you will not enter on the outside anyway because the kingdom of heaven does not come by observation and you are told if it was so the birds who fly in the sky would have reached there before you and if it was in the ocean the fishes would have been ahead of you instead it is within and so this development of 
the jewel, the jewel. The development of God in man must take place from within. Check. This is very important that we understand this. And for this reason, in Galatians 4.24, this character Paul talks about and I say character because the Bible was written by the, the New Testament anyway, was written by the Catholic Church. He talks about the Abraham story is an allegory. And this allegory represents two covenants. One according to the slave woman and the other according to the promise. So we are supposed to be intelligent enough to know that an allegory is just a story which must never be taken literally unless you want to go and pick up the dictionary and look up the word allegory. And when someone use the word represents or represent it means there is a meaning it stands for something else which you must investigate and this is why many people think a 90 year old woman and his uh, and uh, her husband who was according to the story a hundred years old will produce a son. And this is childishness. Yet you have so many preachers in this world who have made so much money out of your ignorance. They preach this stuff every Sunday. It is amazing what goes on in these churches. Yet right there. Galatians 4.24. Paul has explained. This was just a story. Which must never be taken uh, literally. Or seriously. And when you take it seriously. And you ignore. The facts. You need your head examined. Now, what happens when you remove zero from 90? You have ni number nine, correct? And if you remove two zeros from 100, you have the number one. So if we were to plus one and nine, we have 10, correct? None of us are great mathemat uh, mathematicians, but at least we can add one plus nine and get 10. So that brings you to the 10 Sephiroth. Why does it bring you to the 10 Sephiroth? You coming from Keter to Malkut is the 10 plagues of Egypt. You entering your physicality. And so to bring about the jewel, which makes you a real Jew on the inside one must perform the great work, which means from Malkut to Keter, becoming light again. And so for Isaac to be born, one must be working with the tree of life. That is why from Malkut, the first Sephiroth or the first sphere is the moon, which is water. Above the moon, you have the sun, which is fire. You see? Water and fire. Baptism. Now you have to then from the sun, as you look at the tree of life, you have to go to the left, going upwards now. You hit Mars. 
This is when you have developed the level of Christhood because Mars is the Christ. Then when you cross over to the right to Jupiter, which is Abraham, the spirit man, from there onwards, you hit Da'at. This is when the mind has received real knowledge that arises from within. You see? Because the sun is your son of man, your particular soul. So beyond, beyond the art, which is normally a missing sephiroth or sphere, that is always hidden. Thus you have 10 sephiroth, otherwise you'll have 11. Above the art, you have Bina, intelligence. And then Hokmah would be wisdom. So you unite father and mother. You become the son of God. But you always notice Hokmah, the divine mother, which is the sphere of the zodiac, or the realm of the zodiac, is above. Bina, because you go from the left, you go to the right. And from Hokmah, you go to Keter, the first manifested light. Above Keter, you have the Ains of All, the limitless realm. And so now you must understand you are all Jews. Real jewels when we develop our higher self from within because all is within. Just as when you look at your testicles, you have sperm in your testicles, which can be used potentially to create a human being. You have the same power to develop the higher man. And so we're going to leave this podcast but so that you understand the real meaning of a Jew with the E-L at the end of it makes you a real jewel. And so I know your afflictions and your poverty, but you are rich says Revelation. The man within, the divine one, is very powerful, but he's always heading for slaughter because he's ruled by Egypt, the physical body, the ego. Through his own mind, and mind is not seen is a spirit. And so in the ancient Kemites, they wrote, can you tell me the color of mind? You can't because it is invisible. You can look at the physical brain of a person, but mind is invisible. It has no color. It uses the brain, the physical brain, for expression. Physical brain is just a vehicle, just as your physical body is a vehicle for your soul. Peace.